All oh, right, part three. Now this one involves us repeating. The hints are quite handy here. Um, you need to use a variable from the data tab to track the score. Um, so we repeat 20 times, but we need to report the score of the how many correct answers. So if I answered Bob, for example, I should track add one onto that score. Otherwise, I would um, not add one onto the score. So we're just going to quickly jump into Scratch and have a look at that. So let's set the loop up first of all inside control. If we drag the repeat, um, and we're going to go into repeat 10 here. Now, what I'm going to do, because I don't like wasting time, I want to be efficient um, in my time, so I'm just going to test it by changing the repeat to 3, and we can change it up to 20 later on. Now, we're going to have to go to data to make ourselves a variable. So if I make a variable, and we'll call it score, um, we can see now that we uh, want to set this score to zero. So it's a good good habit to get into to make sure that just after you've clicked that you set your variables correctly so that they actually end up the right answer when you click the green arrow before you begin. Otherwise, you'll have to reset them yourself. Um, we can also see inside the variable list is the change score by one. So we need to find the right place in the code for this. So if I think like a computer and work my way down, so I enter this in repeat loop, and I'll ask the question, then I'll do if the answer is equal to Bob, then I'll do here. So this is where I've got the correct answer. So this is where I need to put this change score by one. So I'll just put it underneath here where it said correct. Otherwise it says this. If it doesn't do this one, it's not going to add one onto the score. So it's not going to add one onto the score if it doesn't, um, you don't type in the correct answer. And I'm going to test this. Obviously it's a really good idea to test your code. So here we go. I'm going to test and I'm going to say, the answer, my name is Steve, that tells me it's wrong, and I just check that score does not go up when I do this. So if I answer the correct answer, well, I expect the correct answer, it says correct. Now, does score go up? Yes, it does. So I'm able to know that this code actually works, and if I answer correct again, this should change to 2. And there you go. There is the answer. Copy and paste the code into your test once you've that, 